Hi, my name is Jess. I am the co-owner of Bushel and Peck and Stoke Deli Bar. Hi, I'm Kate Vermuller, co-owner of Bushel and Peck, and this is Overrated Underrated. The great thing about food and cooking and dining is that we all have different tastes. A lot of these opinions that I'm spouting, it's just me, it's just my taste. Uh, if they differ from yours and that offends you, I'm sorry. If I'm wrong or you think that I, I missed the mark, just drop a comment below and uh, we'll chat about it next time. Lobster. Lobster is, in my eyes, overrated. It's like, you know, people who are like, you know, well off love lobster. For me, it doesn't make me feel very well, so overrated. Lobster could also fall into that category of maybe a little bit too pretentious or expensive, but it can be so delicious at the same time. Let's say properly rated. Green bell pepper. Ba -ta 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 -ta. Green bell peppers. I don't mind them. They're good, like good to ferment. For me, like any other pepper, they just taste greener. <laughs> Kate hates them, which I find hilarious. I'm gonna say underrated. Ooh, green bell peppers. Okay, until, I guess say six to nine months ago, I thought green bell peppers were fucking bullshit. I thought they were garbage food. But over the last couple of months, I've been doing some experiments, some trials, and uh, I think I might be coming around on them. I never wanna have like just a piece of green bell pepper like in a salad, get that out of here. And yeah, you can like, you can roast them and make like a smoky element in a dish, that's okay. Charcoal. Charcoal's great to cook on. You can like use it to smoke, you can use it, you know, use it in your barbecue, great as a fuel, but to put into food, I think is overrated. Charcoal. I think that the person who put forth this is talking about charcoal as an ingredient and not charcoal as a, a way of cooking something. I think charcoal as a way of cooking something, amazing, underrated, difficult to pull off. But charcoal as an ingredient, like charcoal toothpaste and charcoal everything, is, yeah, maybe overrated. Sourdough. The old me would have said underrated, but right now I think with so many people during COVID making sourdough, for me personally, very overrated. Sourdough is just great. It has the potential to become like one of these COVID quarantine PTSD triggering things for the next couple of years. So I wouldn't be surprised if people were like, oh, sourdough. But I never made sourdough during quarantine, so I'm still here for it. Jamie Oliver is underrated. He had this program in a restaurant where I'm from in Cornwall to help like naughty children. And he like had this restaurant where um, he helped out all these kids. And he also does all this really cool stuff to do with school dinners in England. Very underrated, great guy. I think Jamie Oliver, unfortunately, maybe is so underrated right now because of everything that's like sort of drama with his company and like financial stuff. He's probably really underrated because of all that. I think most people would say he was proven to be overrated. Oh look, he fell from so high. But now I think he has the opportunity to maybe turn it around and maybe he's underrated. Umami is obviously underrated. Delicious, yeah, amazing. I think umami is probably underrated because still so many people aren't quite sure what it is. It kind of has a bit of a mysterious quality to it, but I think I would describe it as any, it's kind of that flavor that you can't quite put your name on, you know? When you're having something and you're like, this is so good. Like what is, like, what is happening right now? This is so fucking good. That's umami. So how could that be overrated? Feta? I love feta. <laughs> <laughs> Feta's great. It's very underrated. Love it on salad and you can even bake it. It's great. I've always wanted to open a Greek restaurant and call it Feta etc. I'm not Greek and I have no right to do that, but I'd love to. Feta's delicious. It's salty. It's like kind of funky. If you're like something, this needs something and you have Feta, just throw some Feta at it. It'll be great. Underrated. Charcuterie, it can be overrated a lot of people do charcuterie these days and like you get all these charcuterie boxes and and stuff like that um and that's everywhere but like cured meats and stuff are very underrated potentially the trend of like charcuterie boxes and pinteresty charcuterie grazing tables and stuff could potentially be overrated at this point just because it's like being done a bunch but charcuterie the like 
product of taking meats and combining them with different salts and spices and air drying them or fermenting them for a long time until they get more delicious. Underrated. Ivan Orkin. But we've just been watching him on Chef's Table actually. He seems like a really cool guy. Underrated. Ivan Orkin. Oh, I don't know enough about this gentleman to make a call on him as being over or underrated. I think he's a very uh, interesting character. I'd like to try his food at some stage when travel is a thing again. But yeah, I just, I don't know. He doesn't, he's, he hasn't really come across my radar enough to be like, have a hot take on him. So those are my hot takes. Thanks for watching my overrated, underrated. Also, if there's something that you feel like super passionate about, whether you hate the thing or love the thing, let us know in the comments and we'll discuss it in the next video. See you on the flip side.